Good evening and a happy Sabbath everyone. I welcome you all for the song service. To start the song service, let's sing the first song, hymn number 93, All Things Bright and Beautiful.
Yes, may the Lord God save your leaders. from book of Psalms chapter 123 he says unto thee lift up my eyes O thou shalt dwelleth in the heavens so we are all gathered now to lift our eyes who made the heavens and the earth may we this Christmas service be a blessed one to all of us may we seek the holy guidance from above so that it will be a blessed one to everyone who will join this festival service. May God bless us all. Good evening and a happy Sabbath. For our opening song, let us sing hymn number 218, When He Cometh.
pray. Our most gracious Father in heaven, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Thank you so much for adding one more Sabbath into our lives, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the food, shelter and protection during the past days. And thank you so much for giving us a hope that you are the provider in the coming days, Heavenly Father. Father God in heaven, in a special way, we are submitting everyone into thy hands. Bless the one who are all going to take part in this Vesper service tonight, Heavenly Father. Give them the wisdom and knowledge from above so that whatever they do, whatever they take part, let that bring honor and glory to you, Heavenly Father. In a special way, we want to place the speaker of the hour, give him the required words so that what you want to reveal to your children, let that be revealed this evening, Heavenly Father. In return, help us to understand as, as it is and help us to apply the lessons what we are going to learn in our day-to-day -day lives, Heavenly Father. Father God in heaven, we want to humble ourselves and we are submitting once again everyone who has joined this Vespers service this evening. Forgive sins and from all our iniquities. We ask all these few blessings in your son's matchless name. Amen. Good evening and a happy Sabbath church. Today we are going to sing a Tamil song. The meaning of the song goes like this. Where shall I flee from you, Lord? Where shall I flee from you? Whether to the sky or to the moon or to the mountain, where shall I flee from you? I cannot go anywhere other than your presence. For you have called me and I am coming to you, Lord. Please accept me. Let the name of the Lord alone be glorified. Nadi. 
great privilege to share this message to all the seventh day adventist church musket on this first first service sabbath is a blessing to us to all if we turn to the book of exodus 31st chapter and if we read a 17th verse there it shows We have the Bible. So you can turn to the book of uh, Exodus, and thirty-first chapter, seventeenth verse. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day He rested and was refreshed. I repeat again the first sentence. It is a sign. So Sabbath is a sign between. me and between god and to his children so here we are all being an adventist we are all following the sabbath so through this sign god is recognizing us his as his children here the god of the bible is always goes in search of his children unlike in other religions if you see in other religions in the form of pilgrimage they go on in search of god whereas here this god go on search of his children if you see in the book of genesis it was god who used to come down and look after his children adam and eve so it was god used to come to him to them in the similar way if you see god approached noah god approached abraham and god approached moses in fact during moses time god himself told he wanted to be with the children in the same way in the same manner god himself came as a human being in the form of jesus christ so our god is always in search of his child in the same way in the search of his child i think jesus crossed the bound border and went to the gentile nation in his three and a half years gospel service he got a very little time period where he has to fulfill all this all the gospel service so during his tenure on earth he visited a gentile nation so today's topic could be that so before we go into the message uh, shall we ask god and the spirit to help us to understand the message and the lessons to follow for the days to come let us bow down and pray for it heavenly father thank you jesus for giving us wonderful sabbath day and thank you for recognizing us as your children father we are humans which means we are weak we need your help as we worship you god according to your truth and spirit god in the presence of your spirit guide us and direct us 
this vesper service i i pray speak to us through your man servant who is also weak and made with clay please tell me god what to say when to say and how to say if i have offended you please forgive me i am just an instrument to be used by you bless our guests in a special way bless our online audience all glory to you lord in jesus name we pray so today's topic if i had to say the title of our message is deca polis deca means tent polis means cities deca polis it is a huge area and that too it is a gentle uh, gentile nation much influenced by the greek greek language greek culture okay so before i go into the message uh, let me read uh, today's uh, memory text uh, i take this memory text from the book of john first chapter and 12th verse john first chapter and 12th verse it goes like this but to all who who did receive him who believed in his name he gave the right to become children of god we can understand this text in a very nice way if it is if you read the the previous text john 1:11 he came to his own and his own people but did not receive him so if you if you look into the 12th verse he says to all who did receive him means whoever receives him whoever believed his name he gave the right to become the children of god so in this context jesus all of a sudden started a journey to go beyond the borders to go the other side of the galilee to the gentile nation to the gentile nation so it was influenced by the greek it was influenced by the greek language it was influenced by the greek culture if you see the on the other side it is like this if you see this side where jesus was staying where jesus was living here the people the culture is completely different it's completely contrast here the people is follow the sabbath whereas on the other side they don't follow the sabbath here they do not eat pork whereas at the other side they eat pork so in in many ways that side of the that the other side more of to say in a spiritual way it is a dark side okay whereas this side is in a spiritual way is uh, god's people and god's way of living okay so the title of my message is decapolis deca means 10 Uh, polis means cities 10 cities it's a huge area that too it is a gentile nation so one day god uh, jesus was traveling to that place so we find this incident in the book of mark fifth chapter uh, verse number 1 to verse number 20 so we are we need to cover all the 20 verses while we study this but i have i was given only 20 minutes to finish off this message so i have to rush and elder uh, vinod has given me this opportunity and he had given me 20 minutes so let us quickly go into the message and learn in nutshell in uh, before we going through each and every verse i just wanted to uh, tell this whole story in five points like Jesus went on to the other side of the sea of Galilee uh that a name of the area is Decapolis or we can say Gerenes there Jesus encountered a man possessed with a demon when asked his name he said legion more than 6000 evil spirits in him the man with demon immediately approached Jesus for help or miracle the moment he reached he will say in this story in this incident evil spirits begged jesus to allow them into go into pigs and people begged 
Jesus to go back immediately immediately after seeing the miracle and the man after the miracle begged Jesus to allow to be with him, with Jesus but Jesus denied his request Jesus denied his request instead he gave a task to be a witness to his fellow beings if we see in the first verse it was mentioned the other side here the other side is in the verse 1 it is it says they came to the other side of the sea what is meant by other side here i specifically want to elaborate about the other side there are a set of set cities called decapolis cities and those cities have a very very special purpose and function where they are located and where they are intended to influence the region over which they have control the way people thought and lived over there was completely different than the way people think to admit just how much we do have in common with them on the other side then we may also find ourselves as transformed to the other side and an individual who is out of control you will see that his location in the tombs getting isolated from others self mutilation he was cutting himself one word that would aptly describe the man in the tombs in this is just nothing but he got alienated or he is alienated because he alienated from god so jesus came to this place all the way from the other side as if he had a prior appointment maybe that man might have learned through through people around that jesus can get the solution for him so this man is fighting with the situation he is not giving up his how awful this man's life was and why he was very he was terribly violent and he made him the people made him to live in the cemetery he was screaming and yelling let us read the third and fourth verse in the third verse it says he lived among the tombs and no one could bind him any more not even with a chain the chains were not sufficient he, he he is breaking all the chains in the fourth verse he says for he had often been bound with shackles and chains but he wrenched the chains apart and he broke the shackles in pieces no one had the strength to subdue him so here we is we see his he was terribly violent and his people were so afraid and made him to live in the cemetery see he fetters and chains only the honest people or the righteous people will always uh, people fall they fight back whereas on the people who do not have hope they will not fight back they will just submit themselves or they just go and leave or kill themselves whereas the righteous people they fight back see this man the man with the demons he was not giving up he was fighting he was fighting with the evil spirits he he is trying to break the chains and he was trying to get the freedom he was not giving up if you see in the book of proverbs uh, 24th chapter 16th verse it says for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again but he but the wicked shall fall into mischief here uh, verse says a righteous man will not give up he will fight back so suppose if a person is i mean um, he is habituated to a, uh, alcohol if he doesn't have a hope what does he do he will just, he will not try to stop that one he cannot try he will just leave that habit for himself whereas if there is a person who has the hope he will try to control it he will try to stop it and he will avoid it in the course of time because in the same manner this man who possessed with it demons is trying to he is trying to fight back he is waiting for the jesus christ to come he might have learned from somewhere that he, he can get the strength 
or the solution from Jesus Christ only. So that's why he has been fighting. The moment when he saw Jesus Christ far off, immediately he ran to that person. See, in most in most of our lives, most of the sins uh, are like our pet dogs. If you see, uh, there used to be an advertisement in India about hutch dog. Wherever the master goes, wherever the person goes, his pet dog is to go. Wherever he goes, it is to follow. Similarly, in our lives, there are some habits, there might be some sins that keep coming along with us. Okay? So, we cannot overcome those sins or uh, habits on, in one day. They are just like chains. So, we need to take the help of Christ, Jesus Christ, to stop those habits. So, so we need Jesus to intervene with us so that he will help and he will forgive our sins. So, no one had the strength to subdue him. In the fourth verse, it says, no one had to subdue him. But only Jesus has the strength to tackle the issue. So, it was Jesus who oppressed the legion. So, we need to take the help of the Jesus Christ uh, with the legion. And uh, when Jesus Christ asked the evil spirits the name, what is your name? They told legion. Okay? If you take the book of Mark from first chapter to the third chapter, we see many incidents, many occurrences where Jesus, Jesus by saying by a single word, evil spirits were released from the people. People were uh, got the freedom from the evil spirit by a single word by Jesus Christ. Whereas here, Jesus Christ asked again and again to leave, uh, to leave that person, and. Uh, here in this uh, incident, yeah, the, the evil spirits were talking or requesting or begging to Jesus Christ, allow, uh, asking, allow them to go into the pigs nearby. Okay, so here the uh, evil spirits could able to recognize Jesus Christ, but whereas the his disciples in the previous chapter, in the last verse. Disciples could not um, and, uh, identify the strength of the Jesus Christ. If you take uh, 4th chapter 41, disciples were wondering, what, of, what manner of man is this? So the very disciples could not recognize him and could not assess him. Whereas uh, the angels, uh, the evil spirits could, could able to identify him and the man who possesses the demon he is also um, identified Jesus is the only person who can save him. So in the same way, uh, are we taking like that of disciples Jesus as a taken for granted or uh, like Israelites in the book of Exodus when they were going, they ignored Jesus, they ignored God. So let us not do that kind of mistake. What Israelites did in the Exodus or like the disciples, let us uh, let us keep let us keep our Christ in our heart, and always we should understand the He is the omnipotent, where He can uh, help in any situation. He is the omnipotent, and He can help us in any situation. We need to learn this lesson from this uh, message. And also, if you take the fifteenth verse, in the fifteenth verse of this. He, the person who, who got released from the evil spirits, he was well dressed and right mind. You can, if you can see the effect of Jesus with him, he, is, he got transformation. What kind of transformation he got? He got total transformation. And by the, by a, when, um, when the people around the situation, when they saw that person, a person who was yelling and screaming, and um, uh, quite often he was not he, he was naked without clothes and when he, when the people saw him in a uh, in a well dressed and in a right minded they were shocked for the huge change and we need, we can see the total transformation so with the help of jesus christ one can get the total transformation like that of this person if you see in the Especially in this incident, there were three requests came to Jesus Christ. 
evil spirits were begging Jesus Christ to allow to allow uh, to go into the pigs and the people who were around the situation were begging Jesus Christ to go away immediately after seeing this shocking change in the person and when Jesus was uh, about to go into the sheep the this man begged Jesus to be with him or allow him to go along with Jesus Christ there were three obligations uh, came to Jesus Christ to oblige Jesus Christ obliged to the evil spirit Jesus Christ obliged to the people when people asked them to ask him to go immediately to back back and uh, Jesus Christ uh, returned immediately but third uh, request the man who got the miracle requested Jesus I, he, he showed his interest, he wanted to be with Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ denied his uh, request. Denied his request. Okay. So here we need to know why did he deny that request? What is the, uh, uh, in what way should we have to take uh, this request? Instead of the obliging his request, he gave a task saying that go back to your home, tell to your family, tell your beloved ones the what Lord has, what Lord had did for him. So that was the task given to uh, that man. So with that task, what were uh, with that task, he proclaimed complete all the decapolis to all the 10 cities so he told when when he told all the uh, 10 cities there was a great congregation emerged in that gentile nation so when jesus christ um, visited that place after a couple of days people did not leave him for about three days and after the third day jesus christ um, served food for about for, for about 4000 people in that situation see when jesus when so many people converted into christians in that area we need to understand there was a person by name ananya who all he was he is also one of the one of the congregation ananya is one of them in the decapolis with whom a great stalwart was arised as Paul for Gentiles. So being with Jesus means carrying Jesus. Even you pray, you might be praying or you might be spending time with his word. This is not valued according to this incident, according to this message. When you carry his mission, that is where you are counted. So being with Jesus means it's nothing but carrying his mission to the people. So to take the gospel to a new group or to a new nation or to a new church, we will encounter some obstacles. We may face problems and Jesus Christ is no exception. So when he was trying to go to the Decapolis, he encountered a storm while going. So if you, if you read the previous chapter, in the fourth chapter of Mark, we'll see he encountered uh, a storm. So, but he reached to that Decapolis and sow the seed of gospel to those Gentile nations. So, Jesus Christ told his disciples to take the word of God to the Judea, Samaria and to all the Gentiles. The same task we may have to share because we believe our church is a remnant church. So remnant church has the responsibility and the accountability to take up, to take the word to all the nations. So we being the children of God, we are all, we are blessed many times. So. I asked, are we not blessed by God? And 
can't we take up the responsibility being with god is not a problem but being with god is nothing but to take up the mission and uh, and stand or be a witness to the world may god bless this message for our closing song let us sing hymn number 185 jesus is all the world to me for the prayer most gracious heavenly father if i have preached badly please forgive me father you are the omnipotent omniscient and omnipresent you are all powerful all the glory for you only father give us the strength and willingness to obey what we learn today help us to carry you with our witness at all the places father help us to continue to keep the sabbath holy i ask these few verses in the name of lord jesus christ amen